Okay, some of you may actually recognize this screenshot. This is not my chart. This is actually a chart from Mac, who does the price action trading system dot com daily summary via YouTube. It's a fantastic approach to trading using the uh, you know kind of the Al Brooks price action model. And I thought what would be kind of fun would be to take a look at what Mac does with his trades in relation to order flow. And you can see here that he's got a number of trades. Now, the, the ones we're interested in are the blue and the red. Those are the buys and the sell trades. The greens are things that you know are really risky or aggressive trades. And the lavenders are, are th areas of interest that he was looking at, but not necessarily would take a trade there or, or just wanted to comment on. So the, again, the blues and reds, we had some very interesting trades. If we look at this first one here, I wouldn't have taken this one. It, it, he, you know, he called this a, a failed second entry long, which it was. It was above the EMA, but you're buying right at the high. So for me, you know, buy high, uh, sell low. Those are mantras that Mac uh, kind of reinforces over and over again. So I was really surprised that this was one of his trades. Um, this other one here was a second entry long. I tried to get into that today, actually, and and just barely missed it. Um, actually, I, I, I had an order error when I was trying to put my orders in. I actually put in a, a, a wrong-sided order. But this is a great setup that was very easy to see. We have this one here, which is um, a kind of a deep second entry long, actually, or, or a, a L4 in a channel. We have a second entry short here. We have kind of a you know another trade that Mac will talk about, and then there's these two others. I may not get to all of them, but um, we'll see how much time we can get through you know, a couple of these and take a look at them and just see the order flow from, from Mac's perspective. Okay, this is Mac's first trade. Uh, we're gonna, you can see here that we've got the outside bar that's just forming. Now on my chart, I have a doji bar uh, that's you know, right in front of this outside bar. So the, you know, the question is, is where would Mac actually get in? It's probably right around here, this 56.75 level, because that's what ticked above the the doji bar. So you had a second entry, a first entry short, a second entry short that failed, and that's moving up. And so now watch watch what happens over here. As you can see in the book, you see a lot of strength on the bull side, huge amount of strength on the bull side. And there you see a, a an iceberg order come through. You see big block orders coming through. You see. Uh, the strength meter is is stronger. I didn't even reset it, and it, I think it had started off roughly even, or maybe even more to the negative side. So you see a ton of bull strength here. the The bears are trying to push back. Look at thirty four eleven at at fifty seven twenty five. That was absorbed by the, um, you know, by the by the bids on the book. Um, obviously, I, I sped this up. This is at three times speed so that we can kind of move through this. This is roughly 10 minutes of price action. This is, you know, Mac took this trade. I would never think to take this trade uh, for a couple reason, reasons. One, um, you're trading at the high of the day and, you know, you're trading a breakout. Breakouts tend to fail. The other reason is this looks like it's moving pretty fast, but in reality, you know, this is three times speed. It's moving kind of slow. And so every one of these pullbacks coming back to my my price. So again, fifty six seventy five, boom, hits me again. I'm probably out of this in in um, at break even. And you saw how the bids had weakened. You see how they weak they weakened. You never know if this thing's going to turn or not. Okay, now I'm I've gone down two ticks negative. You can just see now the you know the bulls are strengthening again. And now this is good news. So now you have you know 1270 prints right here. It's 5650. You have an iceberg order that showed up, and boom, you've got more block buy orders coming through. You know this is this that crazy relentless relentless kind of um, price action that kind of drives you nuts sometimes because it just it keeps going, but it, it it always looks like it's going to reverse. It's you know it's one of those strong trends. So. What we'll do here, you know, we'll just kind of jump ahead here in a second, but take a look over here in the uh, reconstructed tape. You see more block orders coming through. You see again, you know, just a lot of strength here in buying. I mean, just a lot of strength at these levels. And you see a lot of strength on the on the selling side as well. Look at the 6,200 contracts, you know, trading at 57.25 since we reset it. 
and that all that's being absorbed in the book. So yeah, there's lots of aggressive selling that's happening. You can see that over here, but it's it's being absorbed in the book. And uh, you know we're getting getting close to the end here, but this thing's going to pop up. Actually, uh, toward the very end here, you'll see that we we actually hit yet another iceberg. So I think the icebergs are pretty significant. They add to the strength. Obviously, you had um, lots of block orders coming through, and overall, it was a great trade. Okay, this next trade that Mac showed was a second entry long. It's actually happening right around news time. There's a ISM report that that uh, that's coming out. You can see the strength gather over here in the order book. You can see it begin. You'll see it here in a second coming through. I, there, I reset the order book. I knew something was happening. And now there you go. You see, you see the entry. You see the bull start to take off. Large orders coming through. And you know, you, you can see, you know, the bulls are just pushing this up. You know, bears are really weak in the book on the order side. You can see them pulling orders. You see things added. And one of the things to you know that I noticed is this turn, the second entry turn, happened right around this line of these four um, iceberg orders. So you know the market was definitely taking a stand. Actually, there's one, two, three, four, five iceberg orders right through here. You know the market had taken a stand right through there, and it was almost like this was a trap. Let the bears come through, gather some strength. Now this thing's going to end up turning. There was probably some other news or something else going on uh, to cause this to turn, and it just it just completely tanked. But really great setup, and a, I think a really good example of where um, you know using order flow to kind of confirm the entry. But you know, Max sometimes has it just right. You know that that these are key entry points where the whole market knows to enter here, and that's precisely what happened. So this is uh, another one of Mac's uh, trades, and I'm, I'm going to pause it right here because it, it does go pretty fast, and I do have it on three times speed because I want to point out a few things. First off, I clearly wasn't paying attention over here to ES because I didn't reset any of my uh, you know, my depth in sales or my strength meter, so I apologize for that. You, you can see, though, a couple interesting things already, though. If you look in the reconstructed tape, you just, just look at these huge orders that have come in at this level, 56.25, 56. Um, then you can see also one, two, three, four, five iceberg orders on the on the order side that have come through as well. So you have both passive selling and active selling that's happening, and the price hasn't moved. So you know what you can kind of glean from this is it's good from an order flow perspective. The other thing I wanted to point out is back here on this other second entry short. I wasn't looking at this one as a second entry short. I was a little nervous about this one. Even though this had come down really hard, this was a pretty shallow, lengthy, two-legged pullback. And it wasn't an L1 equals L2 move. So it almost felt like it needed to go higher in order for this to be a little bit more real for it to be a second entry short. So I wasn't looking at that one either. This one, however, looked like it would it would have been really great. And you can kind of see the buildup of that here. So if we you know resume the video it's going to it's going to really take off here and unfortunately you can't see a lot you can start to see bids get pulled you see offers added you see you know a whole bunch of stuff coming through on the tape but this thing really just drops so fast i mean it just it blows through these steps and the volume profile like there is nothing there um and of course, this is a, you know a little bit faster. But look how many prints are happening over a thousand here, and the bulls just aren't keeping up. You know, the the bears are are printing all these prints, and the bulls just are not are not keeping up at all from an active perspective. Clearly, the bears have taken over this market at this point. You know, 771. I mean, these are huge, huge players that are coming in on the sell side. Um, so very um, good to take note of those guys. Sometimes Mac points out trades that work really well for him, but wouldn't have worked for anybody else with a different data feed. And this is one of those examples. You can see here that Mac has highlighted a, a second entry short right up here after that very strong move. And it, it looks like a beautiful move and a, and, a, and a beautiful scalp that happened. But let me show you my chart, and you can see how with my price feed, there was no way to actually make a profit on this and in fact um, I think I was very nervous about entering it because of the the signal bar that that I saw on my chart 
So here we are about to set up that second entry short on my chart. And you'll notice, yeah, we've got some pretty good strength. The you know, bids are being pulled, offers are being added to. And then boom, take a look at this bar. So we get an outside, it's not even an outside down bar, it's just a very large bear bar that forms. And it forms very low. So that um, you know, really a lot of the uh it just left it very concerning. It, it was it was kind of an inside bar. It was a strong bar, so it was probably worth trying to get in here, but your entry would have been 50, so you need to get down to 48.75 to get four ticks of profit. And you'll see it comes right down here at about 49.25, 49, and then it begins to reverse. So you can start to see the, the bids right here turn, offers start to get pulled, um, you start to get a little bit nervous. Now you're back up at the break even, minus one. So this ended up being, um, you know, kind of a, a losing or break even trade on my chart, even though for Mac it worked out really well and it was a successful trade for him. Now getting back to order flow and how this applies to order flow, um, this this is really hard to call. I mean, other than the fact that you can look at price action, you can see that you're in a um, kind of a, in an expanding triangle. You've got uh, you know a really poor entry bar you know coming and looking at the order flow you're seeing this back and forth you see the you know the bid strengthen you'll see the offer strengthen you see this go back and forth so um, I'm not sure the order flow is, is telling you necessarily to get out um, certainly that maybe coupled with price action you see some large players coming in right here um, that might be a really good signal or foreshadowing to get out as best you can and here we've come down and um, you know, maybe one or two ticks loss might be much better to take that than to risk uh, a much bigger loss at this point. Okay, this is Max's last sell trade, and you can see, you know, by by the structure of the bars, you know how good it looks. You have a little bit of overlap, and the bar, you know, the signal bar closes on its low below that overlap. He calls this a second entry short, counting from the top. So. You can count second entries from the bottom or you can count from the top. And for me, I label this on my chart an alternate second entry short. I usually don't take these. And what you'll see on my chart are, are how different my bars look and, and they give me a little bit more pause than maybe what Mac is feeling here. This, this looks like a really great setup for him. Now when we get to my chart, I'm just going to pause this right here for just a second. And you can see that I've got a very large bear bar. It did kind of, you know, go below the, you know, the the overlap, but it didn't really close on its low. Um, you know, again, this was a little tricky. I was expecting it to come back and touch that trend line. Also had a L1 equals L2 measured move. So, you know, for me, I was a little bit nervous about this and, and nervous about the overlap. The uh, the price action, as you can see over here, is favorable uh, for the sellers. So you've got some um, good prints on the bid side. You've got bids in the book that are being pulled. You've got offers that are being added to right, added to right here at 50, this 50-25 level. So it appears that the sellers are a little bit stronger here. So let's you know let's resume and let's see what happens here. So you know again using max rules would be you know we'd be entering on a stop order there. So we enter there, a lot of weakness. And you can see the offers are getting pulled, so it comes back up a bit, gives us, you know, gives people another chance to enter. And notice the 626 order here in the reconstructed tape. That's a really huge order that came through. That's great. And you can see the, you know, the really the bears take control. I mean, you see all the prints down here in the book. And you can see the prints um, on the bull side, and they're just not, you know, they're not at the same level. You know, you've got prints all the way down for the bears, and you've got some skipped prices here and there for the bulls, and that that's never never a good sign. So definitely bear heavy here, and um, this, you know, gave uh, four ticks of, of profit, and then kept going. Um, actually, it gave. Probably four ticks right around here, or close to it. Came back to, you know, break even. Um, probably took your break even stop, and then kept going from there. So it was a little bit frustrating from that perspective as well. 
Okay, Max last trade is much more compelling to look at than his second to last trade. So I just want to point this one out. This is again another one of Max alternate second entries or second entry counting from the opposite way. So normally for a second entry long you count from the the top. So in this case you're actually counting from the bottom. So you have this swing point here. So you have a first entry long and it ticks down which would also be a, a first entry short and now you're expecting this a, another move up and what's more compelling about this trade versus this one here that he highlighted in his video is is really has to do with the order flow so if we take a look at the order flow what we're gonna see here is actually over here in the book you can see we've got you know just things cruising along and then all of a sudden boom we get a uh, an iceberg show up and we can see the bids you know bids that were absorbed here we see uh, you know some big players start to come in so now there's an area of interest so this iceberg caused an area of of interest and we're above the EMA which is good I always like to you know look for that um, you got offers being pulled you got bids being pulled it's still going back and forth a little bit so it did take a little bit before you'd even trigger so at this point what you you know what you have is you know a setup that now triggers so you'd be in this now and it's still looking good you've got some large players come in look at that 402 right there you've got the bid you know the big book from firming up the offers are being pulled everything is coming together so again you see um, things start to happen almost immediately let's see if it holds usually we get a little bit of a pullback on these after these entries you can see the bids just continue to firm up. The offers are, are being, you know, are being dropped. You're past uh, any major areas. 51 was a pretty big, you know, tough area to get through. You can see that on market profile. And really, you have all this thin area all the way up, you know, really until you get to, you know, 53.25, uh, 54.25 so and now we shoot shoot on up so again one of the things that takeaways is look for the order flow to help confirm your entries things should really start to take off you should get a lot of you know interested um, behavior on the side that you're on and and if not then it's probably an area of, of concern or caution to watch out for